I'm sorry. Come on. Okay? You don't have to be sorry. It is called outburst of emotions. It happens to me too. But it's made me appear cheap. Shh. Don't say that again. You're not cheap. But what if I get pregnant? What makes you think I cannot take care of pregnancy? That's not what I'm saying. Exactly. It is not a mistake. Stop feeling guilty. We're adults, you know. Ain't we? Ain't we adults? This is so nice. I wonder who's getting married. The engagement cake. Oh, yes. without yes. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Asan, you have to support her. Definitely, good. Sir, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Now I'm going to spare love. Yes. Love. Yeah? For you to cut the cake. Okay. L O V and E. Ooh. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> it's time for lunch. Yes. I did it. I did it. Get the dining ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Because <laughs> I'm famished. Oh, Dad. <laughs> are we not forgetting something? What are we forgetting, Dad? The dogs. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm. Like it, right? Thank you. Mm. Love it. Love it. <laughs> 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 ah. Wow, wow. It's red and white. Shh. 
Yes. <laughs> dad, I, 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 I should be doing this for you, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be doing this for you, Dad. You know, I'm the celebrant of the day. <laughs> okay, which one is mine? That you have, you have okay. to smell. Okay. Now, yeah. So this toast is for love, wow. wealth, Woo. my grandchildren, oh. <laughs> and long life. Oh, Dad. Yes. Yes, yes. Good. Mm. Mm. Ah, love birds. This is good, man. Oh, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Obviously. And so? Girl, you should be happy for me. Mm -hmm. I should be happy for oh, you. Cause. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just two weeks ago, I was happy when Oscar proposed. Mm -hmm. Delia, don't be ridiculous. Oscar is in the past. He's a mystique that I don't want to remember. Oh, I see. Have you told him that you're carrying another man's child? Girl, you are evil. You're such a killjoy. and finds out that I'm carrying another man's baby. I don't want to lose him. What do I do? As I was saying, okay. next week, we going to see your parents for marriage preparations. You don't say. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're such a darling. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I can't wait. Love you so much. I love you more. Take this. Sister, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> My son, you are welcome. Yeah, thank you very much, Ma. No, Mama. Mama, let me go inside and get Ora soup with Fufu for you. Eh? Mm. Mama, tell, tell, tell. Now your Ora soup can wait. I know that they the good and they prepare Ora soup, but wait. <laughs> oh, let me introduce our guests to you. <laughs> His name is Austin. He's my august son, my boss in the office. This is his son. He's also a pilot. Mm. Yes. We are planning to get married. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. I am beginning to think that education has turned into something else. Just last month you came here with a man called Oscar. That you two were getting married. 
Now it's Austin. What type of a woman are you? Mama, I left Oscar because he was not honest. Then this person you brought now, how long have you known him to know if he is honest or not? Oh, please, Mama. I'm not a little girl. But you're behaving like one. Eh? Wait a minute. Here, here, here! Mama, what is it? Oh, oh. Is this the reason for the urgent marriage? So you're pregnant already, Mama? Mama! Papa, Papa, can on. Mama, you're shouting. You're stop, stop shouting. Chineke! Oh, I am shouting. Eh? So you're pregnant? Hey, hey, hey. Please, please, please. I'm not here for this. I came to tell you that Austin and his people will be coming on Saturday to pay my bread price. Please help me tell Uncle Amazon. I will send you money tomorrow for preparation. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Bella! Honey, yeah. let's go. Uh, why? No problem. Just let's just go, okay? Let's go. Girl, <laughs> we're planning our wedding. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm so happy. So. Would you be my chief bridesmaid or should I look for someone else? Bella, why are you acting like you are in some kind of rivalry or something? I asked you a simple question. Would you or would you not? Bella, would you stop acting like a child, please? I guess the answer is no. Good. Fine. Ooh. My husband is coming. <laughs> My husband is coming. Hey, hobby. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. Let me just change into something better. Okay, baby. I love you. <laughs> Up. There's an emergency. You see, I was called as one of the pilots traveling today to Libya to rescue some Nigerians over there. <laughs> How long would that take? Um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what happens to the wedding? I'm not going to die there. As soon as I come back, we'll begin with the wedding plan. Honey, come on, calm down. Okay, calm down, calm down. I understand how you feel. Everything will be okay. Well, you can stay with my dad till I come back. What do you think? Don't stay with you, don't stay with you. Mommy, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I understand, okay, I'll be back soon, eh? Soon, 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 I'll be back. At least a smile. So. 
Uh -huh. So how is that with you? Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. I thank God for everything. And I just want to say thank you for the provisions. Oh, come on. Don't mention. You said that already upstairs. It's <laughs> fine. Okay, thank you. You know, I actually the noise in this hostel, you know. It's not allowing someone to concentrate. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I know it's on you to you, but not to worry. You'll be fine. It's, it's okay. always like that. It's hmm? okay. I heard Bella is getting married. Yeah. So she said. Can we go somewhere and talk? Maybe a restaurant or a bar? Okay. Alright, let's go. My car is over there. You have a car now? Well, yes, I always had a car. Uh, but... uh, 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 Charlie, Charlie, I beg off my stove for me. I cook him, don't uh, well, I beg, I beg, I beg. You got a bone now, I beg. <laughs> Thank you. You have a car now? I've always had a car. It's been parked in my family house. Wow. Nice one. Let's okay. go. Let's... And you're in the me. What about uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Please wake up. What is it? I am worried. <sighs> Bella, you know I had a hectic day at work. Can we have this talk tomorrow morning, please? Listen. Wait, hold on. Oh, Austin will be out of town for God knows when. And for Christ's sake, what has that got to do with me sleeping? Let me guess. You wanted to hang the pregnancy on his neck. What do I do? Let me sleep. Please. Go and fix your mess. Before you go, show me how to live without your love. I beg you, teach me how to live without your love. To jump on the hand of me, uh, to sleep on the hand of me, uh, you must teach me, cause I don't know how to live without your love. Come here, come here. Yeah. Are you alright? Sir, I have not heard from Austin in two weeks. <laughs> Is that why it's bothering you? They went for another assignment in South Sudan. And not to worry. Hmm? They'll be back by next month. Next month? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I know you are terribly missing him. Hmm? See, if you need anything, just come to me. Okay? So I don't need anything. I want my Austin. Yeah. Okay, sir. Let me go back to work. It's all right. Sir, love one ten ten. It's obvious that the domestic staff are taking good care of you. Ah, come on. I will see you on the Alright, Dad, Dad, Dad. Ah, wow, it's been a while. I need to go and see Bella. I've really offended her greatly. I need to go and see her as it is. Austin. Yes, Dad. You never told me that she was pregnant. Pregnant? 
Bella pregnant? Dead. I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware that she's pregnant. You're getting me more confused, Dad. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't be confused. You can only be confused if you didn't touch her. Yes, I'm coming. I said it to be a surprise. Yes. I'm so sorry. We are going to see our family doctor. What? Why? Oh. You think this pregnancy is not yours? You think I'm carrying another man's... Why is your face like this? What's wrong? We should have used condom. You're pregnant again? Yes. And I'm not going to abort it this time. Why can't you take precautionary measures? Why? Please, don't tell me that crap. Look, Bella. You're going to get rid of that thing. You want me to have a second abortion in one month? Hell no. For God's sake, we should plan to get married and raise a home. Listen to me, Bella. You cannot force or treat me into this. I won't do this with you. Not me, and not now. Get rid of that. If it's about the pregnancy, I have made my stand clear, you are aborting it. I will not abort it. If you know you are not ready for it, why did you get between my legs? Oh, you now shout at me, is that it? You now raise your voice at me, Bella, that's it? No, 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 sweetheart, that's not it. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just upset. Sorry I raised my voice. If we're not getting married anytime soon, this pregnancy will bother me. Why will it bother you? It is not your first, is it? Oscar. Don't make me feel bad about in the first. She now calls me by my name, Oscar. I'm Oscar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Anyways, I have somewhere to go, and it's very important that I'm there at this time. If you want to wait, when I get back, we'll see. Please. Can I come with you? No. They change your mind. Just got the hour. Love you. No, tell me why. Before you go. 
There is one thing you must do for me before you go. Show me how to live without your love. I beg you, teach me how to live without your love. To jump on the hand of me, to sleep on the hand of me, you must teach me, 'cause I don't know how to live without your love. Baby, don't go. Show me how to live without your love. Jump on the hand of me, uh, to sleep on the hand of me, uh, you must teach me, 'cause I don't know how to live without your love. Austin, has Bella not picked yet? Dad, she hasn't picked my call. I don't understand. Why don't you go to her house? Dad, I've been to her house. I've been there. I knocked severally, but she refused to open the door for me. Dad, I'm confused. I feel guilty as it is. Okay, don't worry. There are many ways to kill a bird. Many ways to kill a bird? This bird has refused to perish. I don't know how to live without your love. I'm sorry, lady. I should have thought of a way to make up for the long distance I created between us. It's okay. Get up. See my parish priest for our bounds of marriage. Okay. In that case, let me change into something better. It's okay. Oh. Good day, Father. Austin. Good day, Father. How are you? Very well, Father. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Father. Austin. Sir. You're here to see me. Yes, Father. We're here to see you over our marriage ban. Austin, your father called me a few minutes ago. Okay. Go home and see him. Excuse me. Dad, please excuse us. Right Bella. Sir. I know you will not lie to me. Would you? Start talking. I'm so sorry, sir. Sir, please, I'm so sorry. I am. 
terribly disappointed in you. Listen, son. Over the years, this family has been positively acknowledged for its good moral standards. This is because we have meticulously guarded against incursion of any negatively disposed gene into the blood of this family. So I cannot be alive and watch her bring disrepute to this noble family. Do you understand me? Good. Baby, please. I am so sorry. Please. Where did I go wrong? Tell me, where did I go wrong? Loving you right? No. No, please. You don't deserve this. I am so sorry, Austin. You don't deserve this. Please forgive me. I will put my life to make things right. Please. I am so sorry, please. You, you are Carlos. You are heartless. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I apologize, I'm sorry, but I know no waiting I do. Anything they be a day for ground, I'm sorry, forgive me. Nothing I talk, they change your mind. Just got the hour of love, you know, tell me why. Before you go, there is one thing you must do for me. Before you go, show me how to live without your love. I beg you, teach me how to live without your love. To jump on the hand of me, oh. to sleep on the hand of me, oh. you must teach me, cause I don't know how to live without your love. To jump on the hand of me, to sleep on the hand of me, you must teach me, cause I don't know how to live without your love. Um, the intake of the poison has been pretty good. Jesus Christ. Doctor, what can we do to save her life? Um, the only option is uh, in triuteral fetal death. Doctor, please. Just do anything. Anything you can to save her life, please. Excuse me. Can I get you something to eat? Come on, Bella. You've been like this since morning. Delia, please. Allow me to mourn my stupidity. Stupidity. Now listen to me, Bella. Let it be stupidity if you say it is. 
But let me tell you something. Don't you think Kama has come to repay you? Please, I'm heartbroken. Please. Well, sorry. <laughs> Bella. Sir. Do you think I'm going to dismiss you? Please go back to your work. Thank you, sir. around the world and now yeah yeah but I'm back now you know oh my goodness <laughs> but you you know you're not nice I mean you just graduated and vanished into thin air without oh. even letting me know where you were I'm That's so sorry fair. I'm so sorry for that okay see we have a lot to talk about oh really yeah. so where do we sit and talk uh, there's this new joint in town I mean we can hang out there well, I don't hang out. <laughs> I go on dates. You're so, you're so funny. You never change. <laughs> yeah, right. I know I am funny. So, um, let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. You made me cry, but I never knew I would find someone much better than you. Thank you for breaking my heart. I used to feel your love was real. to be a man, you know, I actually engaged myself in a series of um, businesses mm -hmm. and projects, you know. Right now I have a um, few hotels, yes, I mean, and some restaurants, including this one. You're kidding me, right? I know. I just bought it for people last week. You're not serious, are you? No, I'm serious. That's great. I've always known that you would be great. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. Um, what about Bella? Well, Bella is fine. She's getting married next weekend. Hmm, good news. To Oscar? I mean, since then? Mm, no, <laughs> no. Oscar is past tense. She's getting married to a guy called Dominic. Oh. That's nice. Anyway, I wish her luck. Me too. <laughs> well, I think we should drink up. Cheers. To good life. Good life. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I see you've gotten a man for yourself. I hope he's not a married man because you are so addicted to married men. Excuse me. That's my fiancé you're talking to like that. Sometimes she almost snatched my husband from me. You can ask my husband. Can you stop this, honey? Stop what, baby? I need to tell people like her to stop sleeping with married men. Why are you doing this? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who is that woman? Let's go. I want to know who that woman is and what she's talking about. Do you want to embarrass me here too? Is that what you want? Excuse me. Wrong. Baby, please don't be like this. Are you going to allow what that woman said at the supermarket to ruin our love? Our wedding is on Saturday and the devil has come with his problems. Now tell me. What did the devil do? Did he send you to go and sleep with another woman's husband? Did he? Baby. Baby, please. Look at what you're saying to me. Don't you know me again? Don't you trust me? I can't do such a thing. You didn't take a very close look at that lady. She's a jockey. Oh, yes. She doesn't know what she's saying. Please, my love. I love you so much, please. Tell me more about your boyfriend. He oh. must be very proud of you. Well, truth be told, I don't have a boyfriend. Yes, I am not lucky with men. I mean, most of them just started coming for me when they realized the daughter of whom I am. I hope I'm not going to be seen as such. Not at all. I mean, you are special, kind of. <laughs> so tell me, what do I offer you? I have fruit salad, I have smoothie. No, I have to come back tomorrow for that. Mm? Oh. Yeah, I want to go to Samson's Lane to see my contractor. What? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bella, what is going on? Eh? Where is your husband? I don't know. I don't know why he's taking time. I don't do, do you know what? Calm down. Just take it easy. Calm down? How can I calm down when I can't even see any of his relatives? Not his mom, his dad, even his brothers. How can I calm down? Listen, I, I think you should call him on the phone. Yeah. Try to get him on the phone.
Hello, stupid. Do not call this number again. Idiot. Baby. Baby. What is this? What did he say? Emma, where are you going? Listen, I still do not understand what is going on here. Where is your husband and why is the wedding that is supposed to hold today not holding? Uncle Storm! Bella, what did he... Bella, wait. What you do this? Just wait. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? This is what happened. What happened? I don't understand what is this open injury. What do you mean? Stop. I left the village for her wedding. Only to come here and the wedding did not hold. And to make matters worse, I'm hungry. Isn't that the height of insolence and nonchalance? But I'm out of this place. You can go, Amase. Amase, you can go. Down there, please stop her. Obegadia, you still haven't answered my question. I am yet to understand what is going on. Why did the young man call off the wedding? Bella, you know I'm waiting for an answer. Uncle, please now, please. What is this? I should please. Now, uh, tell me, tell me, because I, I think uh, something is really going on. You're hiding something. Didn't you people cook? Because I'm hungry. You didn't give me food. Yes. Maybe this action of yours is deliberate. You, you didn't cook. Eh? If you didn't cook, tell me. I will understand and go home honorably. You can go home. I can go. I must say, go home. Go. Okay. I will go to the village and tell them how it all happened. Hmm? Bella, please stop crying now. Please. You can't continue like this. Listen. You go through this. It's, it's okay. Bella. Bella, please. Okay, let's go home. Bella. Mm. Bella. No, it's okay. Bella. It's alright. This is not the end of your life. Rather, this is the beginning of your new dawn. Well, let's go. Bella, please. No, what
Chuma. Come here. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Here to see. Oh, I'm sorry. My father my mom is coming in. Sit down. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> you remember what? Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. This is lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now, today is your special day. I would want you to make a request and I'll grant it. Okay, yes. I want to go to the cinema. I want to see Black Panther. Please. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Then go get prepared. Let's go watch Black Panther. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Please sit down. Um, I'll be with you soon. Let me just change okay. into something better. So you heard I was around to talk to you and you left the house? Uncle, that's not what happened. Then what happened? Did you not hear my voice? Uncle, I went inside to do divine mercy prayer. When I came out, you were gone. Shuma, what did that girl give to you? Uncle, if you will listen, I will tell you what I want to tell my mother. But she refused to listen. 